Good choreography. Nice. All right, Dan, Angie, Ricardo, you're up. All right. Go up. Go up, guys. Ready? All right, yeah. Ready, guys? You ready? You bet. Okay. You ready, guys? Ready? Let's do this. Hi, 
Matrix, Grandma. Awesome outfit. Well, thank you. I got it in Mexico. Come on, guys. Let's go. Show them what we got. Yeah, but I don't really know this. Besides the source, why aren't you with your friend? Wait, they're not letting him join. Why won't the pack let you dance with them? Oh, he's not giving up. Now he's copying the other insides of the source. And it's working. They're letting you join. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job, Riley. I wonder what the insides of a source is up to now. This is my favorite part. Uh, this is getting hard to copy. Looks like he's still copying them. But wait, the others are doing a new move. He's having a hard time copying this one. Oh no, are they kicking him out? He looks sad. What is he gonna do now? just did a huge move on his own. And I think his friends like it. Ready, everyone? Let's do this. Size of a saurus, you're dancing with your friends. First Triassic, when the dinos began, Eoraptor, Procom not this, and you just learned something new. Let's keep going.
I know just who to call. Hello, Dino Busters? I'm surrounded by dinosaurs! Dino Dan, Trex Adventures. No good. Who you gonna call? Dino Busters! I ain't afraid of no dinos. I ain't afraid of no dinos. A pterodactyl swoops past your head. Who you gonna call? Dino Busters! A bunch of micro raptors hopping on your bed. Who you gonna call? Dino Busters! I ain't afraid of no dinos. She's here! We have to start singing! Sign on it, those stories. He really likes you. Now sing the chorus. It's working. Let's keep singing. Sign on it, those stories. She really likes you. Now sing the chorus. Aw, goodbye, you two little love dinos. to rule the earth, just check her dino field guide. We could spend so many nights thinking how they survived so long, how they grew strong. Or we could come up with a song to get you on track. For test you ace, dinos with such unique parts, they're not afraid of being chased. Tachosaurus has their quills. Who has a club could break your knee. Herbivores so well protected, they can basically run free, but that's not all. Just look around now. Having horns helps some dinosaurs. Cosmo had so many horns, no one would even try. Speedy ready to rumble. Draco charged with a battle cry. So that is why they will survive. With sharp horns to scare off predators, they know they'll stay alive. Spiky smacks they have to give. Big bony frills, they'll let them live. And they'll survive. They will survive. But that's not all. Right up super high. Buddha makes the ground tremble. There is an applause back to the sky. That is why they will survive. Just as long as they were really big, they know they'll stay alive. Huge sail swipes they have to give. Or long paws so they can live. And they'll survive. They will survive. They will survive. And a one, and a two, and a one, two. was my one true favorite dinosaur but then I stopped and realized there are over 600 more We know of all the dino names so let us help you pick out yours from carnivores to herbivores we even know the omnivores The Druidon was bird-like and the smartest of the dinosaurs The Microraptor smaller but could glide if it stretched out all fours Dromaeosaurus means running lizard cause they could run real fast Give it back. Why are you even giving it to me? For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. Take it. Please, what do you want now? Take it. 
Spinosaurus was bigger and had a sail running down its back. Hoppertosaurus is not as big but may have hunted in a pack. Chickenotosaurus was so huge, no dinosaur he could not eat. It's clear to see why they're a pod in Greek translates to beast feet. Chickenotosaurus was so huge, no dinosaur he could not eat. It's clear to see why they're a pod in Greek translates to beast feet. Blocephalus had a tail club that it could use to lack. Triceratops used its front horns if it was under an attack. There is an Isaurus had the longest claws of all dinosaurs. The Corythosaurus crest made it the loudest of the herbivores. Another group, the sauropods, I know, with super lengthy necks. Brachiosaurus weighed so much he'd have equaled 800 treks. Amorgosaurus had a sail run from his head to its back hip. All right, good work, everyone. Good work. Show them. Dance. Dance your little heart out. Yeah, shake your tail. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Dino dance break. Here comes the dance break. Go, 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 go. Herbivores, let's get this party started. It's really quite a simple twist. Just choose your favorite features. No, wait, we'll make it a challenge and add more prehistoric creatures. It's really quite a simple choice. Just choose your favorite features. No, wait, we'll make it a challenge and add more prehistoric creatures. <laughs> Some think might have been pink. Or Archaeopteryx, which science says is the first bird like Link. What's up, Atlas is the largest flying animal on file. Just remember, they're not dinos, but instead called ring reptiles. Or undersea, there's Plesiosaur, whose neck could stretch out real far. Or Archelon, a giant turtle who was the size of a car. Bigger you want than dinos who kiss huge ancient crocodiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. I could go on and on and on, but this song must come to an end. The time has come where you must choose your favorite prehistoric friend. Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, choose from any dino time span. And on the count of three, yell out your answer as loud as you can. Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, choose from any dino time span. And then on the count of three, yell out your answer as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them a big round of applause for Trek, Hannah, Penelope, and Bobby, and their song, What's Your Favorite Dinosaur? <laughs> Good work, you four. Great singing, great rhyming.